Hello and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills in Corel PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. My name is Robert Corel. In today's short lesson, I'm going to show you how to remove distracting objects from your photos using the object remover. Let's start with a picture of two and a half geese on a baseball diamond. To select the object remover, come to the toolbar, find the clone brush which is normally on top, expand that out and then come down and select object remover. You can see the presets and the settings have changed on the toolbar at the top. The object remover is a two-step process. First, you use the selection mode to select the object you want to remove. Click and hold the mouse button down and drag around the object you want to take out. If you want to add or remove material from that selection, click Shift and then drag to add or Control to remove. So I'm going to remove this object back there. Once that is done, enter Source Mode and then find material you want to use to cover that selection up. I try to find something that's basically the same size and shape and obviously has the same material. Dirt for dirt, grass for grass, trees for trees. If you select an area that's too small, it forces the blending to be a lot more problematic. The more material you have, the better it's going to look. So here I've got a nice area of dirt to the left that I will use. I'm going to feather this by five pixels, use all layers, which because I have a background and that's it, it's almost, it's pointless. And then I'm going to leave smart blending on. When you're ready, click apply. And you can see that the goose has been cooked and if I select none, it's really hard to tell where that border is. If you zoom in quite a bit, you might be able to barely tell, and if so, switch to the clone brush, hold down shift key and click to select some source material, and then just try to break that line up if you can. If there's any sort of way to tell where that original border was, you want to break that up. Okay, now for the goose on the left, it's a little more of a problem. I'm going to go back to the object remover. I'm in selection mode. I'm going to drag around it. Enter source mode. I've got to zoom out here. I'm going to select source beside the goose. So I get basically the same tone. Now here, smart blending is going to cause a problem, which I want to show you. I'm going to leave that selected and press apply. You can see how this has bled in it's not just dirt, it's got some dark material bled in from the duck or from the goose. That's because smart blending sometimes has problems around the edge of a photo. If you undo that, uncheck smart blending and reapply, it's going to look a lot better. The problem here is you lose the blending around the edge, so you might have to re-select the clone brush, shift click for source material, and then just work your way around where that object was to make sure and remove all those little borders. That looks pretty good. Second photo is a picture of a plastic cup thrown away just resting on the grass. And here again you can see three or four different areas of the picture. You've got sky, trees, far away grass which is well cut and then the close-up grass which is overgrown. You want to make sure after I drag around object I want to remove, make sure to use the right material in what you're covering it up with. So if I select trees and grass in the background and apply, even though I've got smart blending checked, it can't do everything and it's going to look weird. So just going to come back down here, select from the right grass, 
apply that and see how it looks. Pretty good. Now this is a very complicated foreground. So you might have to come back after you apply the object remover and use your clone brush to try to make sure you're blending things out. There's no obvious borders. This has done a very good job. but I can see a little bit of fuzziness here. I'm just going to try to move away with that clone brush. Zooming in and out. I'm selecting different spots around to try to vary my own source material uh, so that I'm not duplicating things. So when you zoom out, looks good and we're done. Alright, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.